You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week we're introducing The Sikhs by Patwant Singh. The version that we're looking at is a soft bound edition and was republished in 2002 by Rupa Publications from the original version that was published by John Murray Publishing House in 1999. But the Wanth Singh was a 20th century powerhouse of a writer and sometime broadcaster. He was editor of a number of different publications throughout the course of his career and the author of a number of books pertaining to the subcontinent and the Sikh people prior to the publishing of this, his magnus opus if you will. The Sikhs, as you can probably imagine, is a work by the author that tries to tell the story of the Sikh people from our origins in 1469 all the way up until the end of the 20th century when this book has gone into print. This has become over the last two decades one of the most popular reference books uh, that gives you a general knowledge of the all-encompassing chronology of the Sikh people. It tells you everything from the Gurus right up until how Sikhs have manifested themselves around the globe at the climax of the 20th century. This is a book that you will find in umpteen libraries, particularly university libraries, college libraries, and also widely available for sale through every retailer you can possibly imagine. Let's take a look inside this work to see what it is that you get for your money. This particular edition happens to have the blurb on the inside page as well as a full uh, page black and white photograph of the author. And then we have a number of illustrations throughout the book that are helpfully listed in a tabular form at the opening. The same goes for maps. There are then some brief acknowledgements by the author as well as a preface to the work. Then we get into the book itself. We have a prologue followed by six chapters that take us through from the Gurus through to a period dep depicted here as retribution and consolidation. The third chapter covering the empire of the sex, followed by a detailed chapter on the period immediately after it, titled Grievous Betrayals. The penultimate chapter takes us from that period of annexation right through to the partition of Punjab, whilst the final chapter takes us from 1947 to the present day. There is then a complete and comprehensive section of notes as well as a further reading list and one of the most helpful indexes you will find on any one of the general reference books about the Sikh people anywhere. Many people who are already familiar with this work may have concluded that the reason it is replete throughout libraries and institutions across the globe is because of the author's reputation and of course the mainstream endorsement of the work itself. It really helps when you have a publisher and if you like state backing for your work that is trying to tell the story of the Sikh people. But that would be a very crude assessment. The reality is that this work really tries to tell the people's version of what the Sikh way of life is all about and how we have reached the stage that we have by the 21st century. But the one thing was an incredibly talented writer, but moreover, he was a very perceptive individual when it came to narrating stories to the general masses, particularly those who were new to the people uh, that are known as Sikhs. It's no coincidence that Patwan Singh was a frequent contributor to broadcasters and an individual whose opinion and viewpoint was commonly sought when looking at who the Sikh people were, particularly in light of current affairs. 
There are numerous occasions whilst reading this book where you might take up issue with how the author and writer has depicted a particular happening, whether from history or more recent past. But the reality is that it was his viewpoint. And as I said, trying to summarize this book, it can be deemed as a people's history of the Sikhs. It is certainly a work that I would expect anyone who has an interest in the field of Sikh studies to have thoroughly read. But moreover, I would uh, hope that people who are new to the Sikh way of life and those who are trying to learn a little bit more about Sikhi would pick up and try to digest. Whilst it is not as comprehensive and as, let's just say, accurate as more comprehensive works such as Harbant Singh's The Heritage of the Sikhs, Sangat Singh's The Sikhs in History, it is still an incredibly good piece of work and one that is a lot more digestible than the two previous books that I've just mentioned. Across the some 250 pages that make up the bulk of the chapters of this book, you are really getting a sense of Patwan Singh as a person and sometime historian and narrator of the Sikh way of life. And that's why I think this book is quite a special book and one that I would encourage those of you who are regular viewers of Cover to Cover to pick up and read. The way that we interpret history is often coloured by those people that are closest to us or those writers and speakers and orators that we find an affinity to. Sometimes reading a work like this helps you determine exactly who are those individuals, even if it's not the author of this particular work himself. Those are our views, but we want to know what you think. So please leave us a comment below and share your thoughts on The Sikhs by Patawan Singh. Make sure you've subscribed to the Nordjuani YouTube channel. We want to see you here again next time on Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm.